This video will discuss the reduced properties of gases. So in the previous video, we looked at the critical points of gases, that there is a certain temperature and pressure and molar volume at which the first derivative of the pressure with respect to the molar volume is zero, and the second derivative of the pressure with respect to molar volume is zero. That is called the critical point, and the pressure and molar volume and temperature at which that occurs are called the critical pressure, critical molar volume, and critical temperature. So what happens uh, at that pressure is that for, or at that value is that temperatures below the critical temperature, we have our gas at high molar volumes, we have a liquid at low molar volumes, and at intermediate vol molar volumes inside this blue parabola, we have the liquefaction of the gas where we go from 100% gas at high molar volume to 100% liquid at low molar volume, keeping a constant pressure all along the way. So uh, above, the, above the critical temperature, we don't have any liquid, and below we have the phase transition from liquid to from gas to liquid, which is allowed due to the interactions between the particle as we've represented them here using the van der Waals equation of state. All right, so we said that uh, using the critical temperature, pressure, and volume, we can derive unique parameters for the van der Waals equation of state. So we have the attraction parameter A is equal to 27 R critical temperature squared over 64 times critical pressure. The effective molar volume B equals R times critical temperature divided by eight times critical pressure. So not only does it specify unique choices for A and B, but it also implies uh, kind of the entire equation of state that we can, we can substitute it into. So that's what we're gonna do here. So we're gonna define some new quantities. We're gonna define quantities called the reduced pressure reduced molar volume and reduced temperature. So the reduced quantity is equal to the standard quantity divided by the critical quantity. Reduced pressure equals pressure divided by critical pressure. Reduced molar volume equals molar volume divided by re critical molar volume. Reduced temperature equals temperature divided by critical temperature. All right, so we'll substitute in these values of A and B into our van der Waals equation of state, P plus A over V bar squared times V bar minus B equals RT. So what we have is P plus uh, three V bar C squared times PC over V bar squared. So substituting in this expression for A times V bar minus one third V bar C for this expression for our effective molar, um, molar size equals RT. All right, so we can then use our kind of compressibility factor here. So we have RT, we're gonna divide both sides by PC V bar C, which is equal to P over PC, that gives us our reduced pressure, P over PC, plus three V bar C squared PC over PC V bar squared. So notice that I'm just putting in uh, on each side here the PC that we divided by. So the PCs on the top and bottom cancel out. We have V bar C squared over V bar squared, which is one over V bar R squared. So the inverse of this, V bar C over V bar is one over V bar R. Then in our other our other term, we include the dividing by V bar C. So we have V bar over V bar C minus one third V bar C over V bar C. These cancel, V bar over V bar C is V bar R. So that leaves us with the reduced pressure plus three over reduced molar volume squared times reduced molar volume minus one third equals RT over critical pressure times critical molar volume. So we've got the equation on the left in a final state. We just need to rework things on the right to be in terms of the critical temperature, or sorry, the reduced temperature. All right, so how are we gonna do that? So we know that the we can solve using these equations that the critical pressure 
is equal to a over 27 b squared and the uh, critical volume is equal to 3 times b so the critical pressure times the critical volume multiply these together is going to be 3 a b over 27 b squared which is equal to a over 9 b which is equal to 1 over 9 times then we're multiplying in um, what the values of a and b are so 1 over 9 factor out this multiply this expression for a multiply 1 over this expression for 1 over b so we have 27 rtc squared over 64 pc times 8 pc over rtc so lots of things cancel here 27 cancels with 9 to leave a 3 left over 64 cancels with 8 to leave an 8 in the denominator. We have an uh, RTC squared here, cancels with an RTC there, leaving one RTC on top. Um, I believe that's everything I mentioned there. So the result of this expression is that PC V bar C equals 3 eighths RTC. All right, so RT over PC V bar C, this expression that we had for our equation on the right here, that's equal to, we can substitute in uh, the remaining value we had here, RT over 3 eighths RTC, T over TC is TR, and then 1 over 3 eighths is 8 thirds, the R's cancel, so we get RT over PC V bar C equals 8 thirds times the reduced temperature. So our final result here, once we use these critical values to derive the van der Waals parameters A and B, and then use them in terms of our reduced quantities, we get that the reduced pressure plus 3 over the reduced molar volume squared times the reduced molar volume minus a third equals 8 thirds times the reduced temperature. All right, so what this is called is the law of corresponding states. So this says that all gases at the same reduced pressure, reduced temperature, and reduced molar volume will have the same properties because they obey the same equation of state. They're at the same state because they're at the same values of PR, TR, and V bar R. So for a given pressure, volume, molar volume, and temperature, there's you, relative to the critical point of that particular gas, that gives us a particular value of reduced pressure, molar volume, and temperature. So when you're at the same value of reduced uh, properties for these, for the specific gas, you get a specific behavior. There will be a specific compressibility factor, energy, all those kinds of, of things. So any gas which is at the same values of all three critical quantities will obey the same state, which is why it's called the law of corresponding states. So this was used particularly deriving from the van der Waals equation of state in the, uh, in the experimentally observed critical quantities. So this is, a, is, of course, an approximation, as all equations of state are. So this equation of state works very well for gases that are nonpolar. It works very well for gases that are approximately spherical. So the more spherical and the more nonpolar a gas is, the more it will obey this law of corresponding states. But um, it's actually uh, quite good and predicts the compressibility factor to an amazingly good degree for uh, a lot of gases. So things like argon, neon, methane, nitrogen, oxygen, a lot of the common gases that we're interested in obey the law of corresponding states to a very high degree of fidelity.